So the first step to installing Kali on your MacBooks is to go to Kali.org. Once you're here, navigate to Get Kali. Uh, and since you're running a Mac ARM, let's say you have an M1, M2, or M3 chip uh, MacBook, we have to go with the installer image here. If you did have a 64-bit Windows or older MacBook, you could use a pre-built virtual machine. It's a bit faster, but in our case, we have to use the installer image here. From the installer image here, we want to navigate to Apple Silicon ARM64, and we want to download the recommended ISO here, the installer here. Once you click this, you'll see it appears in your downloads here. Um, I already have this uh, downloaded on my system, so I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to show you guys how to install VMware Fusion Pro for personal use. If you already have VMware Fusion Player or v VMware Fusion Pro for personal use, uh, feel free to skip this next section in the video and go to the section where we start uh, configuring and starting our Kali Linux virtual machines. So let's register an account with Broadcom. So first let's go to register. We're going to enter our email here. We want to enter uh, whatever text you see here. Then at this point you want to go to your email and grab your uh, two-factor verification code. All right, so enter your two-factor code, verify and continue. Here you can just enter any information you'd like, accept the terms, and then you are ready to create your account. From here, just for the purposes of this video, uh, we're just going to say we'll do this later. We've already registered successfully. And now we have an account. We have a Broadcom account. So now we can install VMware Fusion Pro for personal use. So let's do that now. All right, so I'm going to provide this link in the description, um, but in this on this web page here, we have our VMware Fusion Pro download. It's going to take us right to Broadcom, and then we're going to enter our new Broadcom account details. We're going to enter our password here. So this is going to redirect us to the download page for VMware Fusion Pro for personal license, which is the one we want. We're going to select this. On the versions here, we want to select the newest version. So here we have the newest version. It's going to redirect us, and here's our download. Uh, first, we have to agree to the terms and conditions here. And then there's a screening required here. So first, we're going to click the screening required button. You want to click yes, I'll proceed. Additional verification is fine. And then you want to add some personal details here. Um, in order to submit it and be able to access the download. Okay, so now we've entered that information and now we should be able to download. So we have our HTTPS download here. Now we just need to wait a few moments. Our download has started. All right, so navigate to your downloads folder uh, and double click uh, your downloads file here. And then it mentions here to double click to install. We're gonna do just that. Here we have our warning, VMware Fusion is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we do. Enter your administrator password here. Wait till it initializes. Okay, now here we have VMware Fusion. Uh, and then if we go to our VMware Fusion menu here, we go about VMware Fusion. We have VMware Fusion professional version. 13.5.2, license for personal use only, which is exactly what we want. To start off the process, let's go to this plus button here, go to new, and we're gonna select install from disk or image. Double click that. And then you can just go to finder and drag your downloaded ISO file um, that you had just downloaded from the internet and just drag it in here. Or you can choose one if you'd like. Once you've done that, continue. We're gonna select Debian 12 continue here. We're going to customize our settings. We'll call this Kali VM. And then before we start up our virtual machine, we want to make a few changes here. We'll keep our CPU cores at two, but we want to go to four gigabytes of RAM here. 
All right, that's perfect. We want to make one more change to our hard disk. We want to change our disk space to 50 gigabytes. We're going to apply, expanding virtual disk. We're all good here. Now we're going to start our Kali VM. We're going to use our up and down arrow keys on our keyboard to go to graphical install. We're going to select English here as our language. We'll select United States as our location. We can use American English here for our keyboard. Wait for some of the components here to be loaded. Wait for some of the network configurations. All right, awesome. So we'll leave our host name here as Kali. We can keep our domain name empty. Now for our username, I'm going to make mine Vic. You can choose whatever you'd like. We'll use the same thing here as well, username. The other one was full name. This is our username. We'll make our password here. I'm going to make mine Kali. Got to be super secure. <laughs> You want to select your time zone here. I'm going to select Eastern as our time zone. Now we want to select guided, use the entire disk. We want to select our only option here, continue. We want to select all files in one partition. Continue. We want to finish partitioning and write changes to disk. We want to select yes. We want to write our changes to disks. Wait some time for some of these uh, installs to occur. may be slower or faster on your system, it depends. With the display here, we're going to use Kali's default desktop. We're going to select continue. So I'm going to skip the next section here, um, just so I don't leave this uh, installing the components. Uh, for me, take some time, maybe around 7 to 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to skip so you guys don't have to wait if yours is possibly faster. While you're waiting, maybe pause the video, come back when you're finished, and unpause, and I'll go to the remainder of the steps. All right, so now we are going to select reboot. The process finally finished. Uh, so we're going to continue here to reboot. We're going to select Kali GNU Linux. It'll automatically boot anyways if you don't. Now we're going to enter our username we entered before, Vic here. Enter my super uh, secure password here, Kali. We're going to log in. And here we are, here we have our VM here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this did help you, please leave it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.